Welcome to the On My Workbench channel. A few years ago I bought a barely running 1962 VW Baja Bug for a project car. Now that I have gotten a lot of my other projects done, I have started to work on the Baja Bug. The gas tank was badly rusted on the inside. I either had to replace the tank or remove the rust. So I went to YouTube and watched a couple of videos on removing rust from a gas tank by using electrolysis. One of the videos that I watched was how to clean a rusty gas tank with electrolysis by Macro Machines. The link is in the description. The second one was Motorcycle Tank Rust Removal Using Electrolysis by Robert Cooper. The link is in the description. While both of these were very good videos on the process of using electrolysis to clean a gas tank, it was difficult to see how well the process worked in the videos, so I decided to do a video showing before and after photos using electrolysis to clean a rusty gas tank. To get good before and after photos of the inside of the tank, I needed to light the inside of the tank. To do this I used a 12 volt taillight bulb, I think it was an 1157 dual filament taillight lamp that I had soldered clip leads onto years ago to use as a test light while working on the autonomous boat project. Before inserting a light into a gas tank, make sure there is not any gasoline or gasoline vapor still in the tank. This tank had been sitting empty for nearly two years with a gas cap loose so the tank could breathe. If I were going to remove rust from a tank that has recently had gas in it, I would wash it out several times with hot water and Dawn dishwashing liquid to remove any residual gasoline and gasoline vapors. That's what I would do. If you do this, you are taking 100% of the responsibility on yourself. If you blow yourself up, don't come crying to me. I removed the gas gauge from the top of the tank. This is where I put the camera to take the photos of the inside of the tank and where I inserted the electrode during the electrolysis process. I put the tail light lamp down the filler port of the gas tank and let it dangle by its wires. I then connected a 12 volt battery charger to the clip leads on the tail light. This illuminated the inside of the tank sufficiently to get the before photos. The next three photos are of the bottom of the tank and the sump area before I started the cleaning process. Next I removed the light and put five cups of gravel down the fill port and shook the tank for about 25 minutes to loosen and remove the surface rust. I reinserted the light back into the tank to take the after gravel shake photos. I needed something to use as a rust collecting electrode. I had an 8 inch long, 1 inch wide, half inch thick bar of steel left over from some project that I had worked on. This is why I never like to throw anything away. You never know when you may need it. I drilled a quarter inch hole in one end of the bar for a quarter twenty bolt. I needed an insulator to keep the steel bar from shorting out on the sides of the gas gauge opening. I used a 1 inch PVC pipe coupler with a 2 inch long piece of 1 inch PVC pipe inserted into it. I drilled a quarter inch hole through the coupler and the pipe. I inserted a quarter inch bolt through the hole in the coupler and the pipe and screwed a quarter twenty nut onto the bolt. I then inserted the steel bar inside the coupler and pipe put the bolt through the hole in the steel bar and screwed a second quarter twenty nut onto the bolt on the other side of the steel bar to hold it in place. The bolt is to hold the steel bar to keep it from falling into the tank. Next I mixed up eight tablespoons of Arm & Hammer washing soda and eight gallons of hot water. I plugged the gas tank outlet line and poured the solution into the tank until it was about a half inch from the gas gauge opening. I inserted the steel bar into the gas gauge opening making sure that it was not touching the tank. I set the battery charger to 12 volts at 2 amps, connected the negative clamp to the gas tank filler port and the positive clamp to the steel bar. Next I plugged in the battery charger. The charger was reading just under 5 amps. I put my voltmeter on the charger clamps and was reading 8 volts. As the process progressed the current went down and the voltage went up. I guess Mr. Ohm was right. I let the process run for a total of 15 hours over 2 days, checking it every couple of hours by removing the electrode and looking at how much rust had accumulated on it. 
It looks to me as if the process progresses faster the longer you let it run. After 15 hours, I drained the tank and washed it out several times with hot water and Dawn dishwashing liquid. I then used my heat gun to dry the inside of the tank. I put the heat gun in the gas gauge opening and used a restrictor on the gas filter port to slow the exit of the hot air to help the hot air carry the water vapor out of the tank. The next three photos are after the electrolysis process and tank drying was completed. It's much cleaner with very little signs of any rust left in the tank. Please check back with the On My Workbench channel for more videos on cool stuff. Please subscribe, like, comment, and click the little bell. And thanks from the On My Workbench channel.